Good morning, Caterpillar. Good morning, little Caterpillar. Maybe the Caterpillar doesn't understand me, but I don't speak Caterpillar language. Maybe if I talk more slowly, he may be able to understand me. Hmm. Dear Mr. Caterpillar, I'm not sure if you understand me or not, but I'd like to wish you a good morning since it's such a beautiful day and I'm so happy. And when I'm really happy, I like to wish my friends a good morning. Today is not a very good day. Why isn't it such a good day? I thought if I was having a good day, everyone else would be too. All my life I wanted to see the world and visit many places. But I'm just a simple caterpillar and I won't have the chance to see a single thing. No oceans, no forests, no volcanoes. <gasps> I've got the solution to your problem. You just have to move a little faster. And I don't mean a little faster, but a lot faster. Look at the way I move. If I go slow like you, I go very slow. But if I go very fast, I'm here now. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. Now I'm here. And now I'm here. And now I'm here. Milo. I think we better go see what's wrong with Moo Moo. I wonder what's gotten into her. What's wrong, Moo Moo? There's nothing wrong with me. Our friend, Mr. Caterpillar, is sad because he wants to travel, but the poor thing is so slow. He never gets anywhere. So I was... Just telling him that if he moved fast, really fast, he'd get to more places. <sighs> but Moo Moo, you don't realize that you move really quickly because you're a fast cow. But Mr. Caterpillar could never move as fast as you. He's very little and doesn't have fat feet like you do. Hey, my feet are not fat. Mr. Caterpillar, don't be sad. I promise that in a few days, you'll be able to go as fast and as far as you want. But how would that be possible? Have you ever heard of metamorphosis? No. Well, it's something magnificent that's about to happen to you. Soon, you'll no longer be a simple caterpillar and will transform into the most beautiful and elegant butterfly of the valley. Mm, a butterfly? There comes a time when all caterpillars transform into precious butterflies, and then they can fly wherever they want. So when will I transform into a butterfly? The first thing you need to do is to spin a cocoon and then go to sleep in it. When you wake up, you'll already be a butterfly. Hmm. Thank you, my friends. You've made me very happy. Moo Moo, don't be impatient. It may take days before Mr. Caterpillar becomes a butterfly. I'll stay. As you wish. See you Goodbye. later.
He's coming out! He's coming out! Everyone, look! He's coming out! Come on, Mr. Caterpillar, you can do it! Come on! He's no longer Mr. Caterpillar, now he's Mr. Butterfly! Same difference! What's important is that he's been transformed into something beautiful! Yeah! Oh, he's, he's so, so pretty. pretty! I want to be a butterfly like him, so handsome and beautiful! And me too! You're so pretty! Fly, fly butterfly, butterfly, fly away. away! Fly, butterfly, fly wherever you want to go! Now nothing can prevent you from going anywhere you want! You can fly as freely as the wind! Milo, have you seen how many bees are in the garden today? Yeah, there are lots of them. We have to be careful not to bother them so they won't sting anyone. I don't like being stung by bees. Once I got stung on my arm and it got all swollen like a giant potato. Thanks to bees, we have flowers in the garden. Uh-huh. If they didn't go from flower to flower collecting and spreading pollen, we wouldn't have any flowers. Ooh, wow. Hello, little bee. How are you? Hello. What's the matter? Is it because you're tired of going from flower to flower? No. The problem is that I don't know how to collect pollen. Nobody ever taught me how. Then we better do something about that. Yeah. My friends, we have a problem. There's a bee that doesn't know how to collect pollen, and no one has ever helped him learn. We need to show the bee how to collect pollen. Um, and what happens if it stings us? Bees only sting when they feel threatened, but we're going to help her, so there's no need to worry about getting stung. So team, are we all ready to help our new friend? Yeah! We've all decided that we're going to help you. Soon you'll be the fastest pollen collecting bee. We just don't know exactly how we're going to do it. Let me know when you figure it out. I'll be playing in the flower garden. Wait for me, Mumu, I'll go with you. Why don't we all just give him an example? What a great idea, Alfred! Yeah, yeah! We'll all pretend we're bees and go from flower to flower collecting pollen. We'll put a little bit of pollen in Mumu's hand, a little bit in Rita's hand, and a little more in Olga's hand. And he'll see how it's done. Little bee, you're going to learn something new. Come with us. Little Bee, stay with Milo while I get everything ready. Rita, you stand back, right behind that rock. A little more to the right, two steps back. Perfect! Mumu, you stand four steps to your right. One, two, three, four, perfect! You and Alfred, um, you're just fine right there in the middle. Very good. Everybody ready? Little B, pay attention to what Olga's gonna do. Go! Did you see how Olga goes around touching each of their hands? That's what you need to do. You must go from flower to flower, collecting the pollen from each one. Oh, all right, little bee. See how easy it is? You just have to fly from flower to flower. Now you must do the same thing. Go and fly from hand to hand, touching each one, then fly off to the next one. Got it? Mm, I think so. Also, Olga 
has placed a bit of pollen in each hand for you to grab and to carry in your legs while you fly. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready! Very good, little bee. Now fly towards Alfred. Fly towards Moo Moo. Oh, great. The bee's coming for its pollen. What happens if the bee thinks I'm a flower? Will he pollinate me? <gasps> and what happens if he stings me? Milo said the bee wouldn't hurt me. But if he stings me, I'll be mad. Maybe it's better when he gets here that I put my hand down so he doesn't come near me. But if I do that, he may get mad at me. That bee will sting me for sure. I think I better just run when he gets here. He's almost here. I'm so scared. I'm out of here on the count of one, two, three. Ah! A bee! the pollen. The bee is your friend. I'm sure if I were to turn around, it would sting my uh -uh. behind. Don't be silly, Moo Moo. Bees can be our friends. Ouch! A bee just stung my behind. Somebody help me. It really hurts. <laughs> Today is a beautiful day, but it looks as though we're about to get hit with a strong wind. I don't know how you do it, but you're always able to predict the weather. We need to pick everything up before it starts blowing really hard. I'm not afraid of the wind. It's on the air. What harm could it do? Oh! It's already <laughs> starting to blow hard. I think it's better if we head home now. We'd better hurry, because it's only going to get worse. I'm going inside with the others. Come on, Moo Moo. Don't be so stubborn. Let's go home. I'm not afraid of anything, much less the wind. Come on, little breeze. Is that the best you can do? Go on. I want more wind. More! 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 I see you feel like blowing today. But you're not going to beat me. I'm Moo Moo, the super cow. I'm almost there, just a little further. This wind has no chance against me. Oh! Oh! Ow! 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 What is this strange thing? Could they be pieces of wood? It looks like a beaver's home. No, no. It's a nest that fell from a tree and broke apart. And what might these be? They look like oval-shaped white rocks. Oval-shaped like an egg. No, no, they're not rocks, but bird eggs. Am I a bird? What am I doing here? Is this my nest? I can't believe it. My nest is all broken. This is my nest. My eggs, my family, no! Hey guys, now listen to me carefully. The wind has done something terrible. My nest fell to the ground and it broke apart. My babies, my little birdies, have been left without a home. It's a tragedy. Please, someone help me. But Moo Moo, you know that you're a cow and you don't have a nest, do you? My children, please help me. She must have hit her head a bit too hard. She is all confused. Come on, let's go see what happened. What a disaster! The nest broke apart and the eggs are all over the ground. We're lucky that none of them cracked. We need to pick them up and make a new nest for poor Mr. Bird. What do you mean, Mr. Bird? This is my nest and you need to help me. Moo Moo, you took a blow to your head and you think you're a bird. But Moo Moo, you're really a cow. Now we need to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird so that his eggs can hatch. Let's get to work, friends. We need to collect branches.
What are you doing? Mumu, we're collecting branches to help make a new nest for Mr. Bird. So who's going to help me build my nest? But Mumu, you are a cow. What would you need a nest for? The wind has destroyed my nest and nobody's going to help me build it. I thought you were my friends. Mumu, the wind damaged Mr. Bird's nest, not yours. You don't have a nest. Well, since nobody's going to help me, no worries. I'll do it myself. <laughs> I'm going to build the biggest and most beautiful nest that ever existed. See you later. Here's one. Look, look. Yes, and another one. This one's mine. I've got a lot of them, but I need a few more. No, not a few more. I need a lot more. Now I think we have enough to make a nest. Put a branch right here. Yes, yes, that's good. Ah, uh, I hope this is the way it goes. It turned out to be a masterpiece. Mr. Bird will be very proud of his new nest. Now, we've got to put it where it belongs. Talalo, can you go put it up in the tree? Now I've got a beautiful nest, but it's missing something here. For a nest to be a nest, it needs eggs. I'm going to try to lay an egg. Mm, this is really difficult, but I need to find some eggs. Look, right there on the ground, I see two giant white rocks. Where could Mumu be? Well, I don't see her anywhere. Chirp. Huh? Chirp. Oh. <laughs> chirp, 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 chirp. Hey, Mumu, what are you doing way up there? Come down from there right now. When the wind starts blowing again, you'll be sent flying. Chirp, chirp, moo. Chirp, chirp, moo. The wind is starting up again. Come down from there, Mumu. You're going to get blown away. Chirp, chirp. Oh. 